This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volume right back here with another episode of Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark. In the last episode, we played as the Decepticons as they continued to head towards Megatron. The three group shock... I think it was like... Uh, well, it wasn't Shockwave because it doesn't sound like he's part of that group. But three characters formed together to form Bruticus. We fought off the Autobots with one of the uh, uh, formed giant... Uh, Transformers, which was pretty cool. Uh, and then we captured Sideswipe and, uh, or they captured Sideswipe and forced, uh, them to stop attacking. So now we gotta take, uh, uh, we have to join his Optimus and Jazz and save Sideswipe and get the Dark Spark back before we leave Cybertron forever. Would have been All a right. boring conversation anyways. Yep, gotta, gotta, violence is the only answer. Even, even Optimus has to agree to that. Alright, let's continue on through this place. I do like the idea that they do have a uh, destructible environment, which is kind of cool. I don't know really how well utilized it is, but still neat. Actually, what is... Okay, so he has a repeater as his main weapon, and then a uh, missile as his secondary. Gotcha. Wait, do I get a... What is my RB? For this, I don't seem to be no. Like I'm not seeing anything. Cause you got shield in this one, but then when I press R B, is it? Do I just, okay. Maybe. No. Hold on. Oh, I have to be. In, I have to be charging to do something with it. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Sorry for messing with that for a bit. I was just. I was trying to figure out what the R B button was for Optimus. You know, in car forms like. Oh, that ain't good. Oh, I don't have any heavy weapons? Huh. That's interesting. There we gotta destroy these. I'm surprised. You tell him, Optimus. Yeah! He's like, you won't hurt him, but I'll, I'm, and I'm not really above killing, dude. Destroy them. Nice. Well, no! Ah, <laughs> oh, man, I wasn't paying attention, and I just finished it too, and I fell into the goop, because like, oh, like we all know, heroes can't swim in their games, at least not in the first itineration, anyway. Same for robots. We have to do that again, don't we? Dang it! Recycling unit, come in. What's happening now? Okay, there? come on. Come on. That would have been a boring conversation anyway. Uh, all right. Well, luckily now that I'm... we'll try up. Okay, just gotta be paying attention. It didn't really take me that long to get to the to get through it, so. Really take that many hits to, to defeat them and then nah, I didn't. So that's how you're supposed to run them over and get that uh get the bonus for that or get uh, run them over easier. So you're supposed to do that charge ability. Wait, did they always make that noise when transforming? Because I I I think only the, I think only Optimus does that because I I swear the Decepticons don't make that noise, or or they they don't I don't even think they make their version of the noise you know where it's supposed to be a bit uh, like a lower beat if I remember correctly but, but yeah Optimus has the classic transform sound but I don't remember like Ironhide or, or uh, whatever doing that okay seriously where where's where the, where are the rest of them. Did I just have to get to that part? Okay, where? Oh. Was that what I was waiting on? Just kill no. Come on. Okay, there we go. I was like, what's taking them so long? Haha. <laughs> Come on down, water climb. Yeah, one, oh, two more. Okay. 
Seems like Optimus to shoot from the hip and use a gun and, and just. Actually, I think he does use a simple blaster. In the, in, at least in Generation One, he did anyway. Good thinking. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to sneeze into the mic. Although, like first he used a pistol, and then later on, it might have been the movies, but didn't he start using an act, an energy axe later on, or was it because of the movies he started using? It? Oh, can I actually drop down there? Hope so. Oh, okay, I had to go. Ain't exactly light, you know. I'm through. Jazz grapple across. Right, what do we got here? Oh, is it just the weapon I'm already using? I guess so. All right. Let's continue on to uh, find Megatron and save save our Autobots and uh, get off this planet. Yeah, it's gone to crap anyway. Not don't no no sense trying to save it. Got to go to some other world and make the recycling unit. The further we go, the more concerted the Decepticon defenses will be. Now that we can't handle as bad as this is. We've seen worse. Oh, you now you've got it set. Set it. All right, let's give him a heavy weapon really quick before. Uh, do we have any update now? I don't want to see. So that's the that's the shotgun. Yeah, since I don't have any, let's go and equip that since we don't have any. Um, Yeah, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll keep the pistol, why not? I just want something that could lock on, if I needed it to. Dang, Optimus, you're, you're really confident about, about your skills, aren't you? Come on, shield, there you go. It is interesting playing a Transformers game where. Well, actually, never mind. I was about to say. Ah, we'll, we'll wait here a second. Megatron will always underestimate us. Ah, man. A battle for freedom is a battle fought with every circuit. We will prevail. Why would it give us an audio log and then immediately cut it off? I am the prime. I am awesome. Oh well, whatever. It was. I think that sounded like Starscream or someone similar to that. Anyway, are we about to fight Megatron? You know, I've noticed we haven't really had. I mean, we okay, we had bosses, but not. I mean, not. Well, maybe I'm, I was thinking of Deception. Not Deception. Wh whatever the uh, uh, Platinum Games game was had bosses. This one. Grid to move forward. And that game was fun. I, I kind of want to play that one again, actually. Scrap anyway. it and the whole thing will go offline. That we can be thankful this big. Oh. I didn't let I didn't let Pierre Colin finish. No. We can't we cannot have more of that sexy Peter Cullen Optimus voice. We must have as much as we can. Yes, folks. It's like more it's like hearing Lawrence Fishburne talk or or James Earl Jones or uh um you know they have those sweet, smooth voices that you just you just have to hear. Or in a weird sense, Tony J. Rest in peace, Tony J. Now that guy had a unique voice. Anyway, uh, okay, so we need to find more spots to destroy. So we can continue on. Hey, what was I saying before? I was talking about something and then I forgot what. Is that it? No, that's not it. Oh, there it is. There we go. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Although Optimus Prime is pretty, pretty tough, you know. You would need ten people to take out an Optimus. Unless you're in the movie, then you'd have to. Then you need a uh, just Megatron and a lot of battle left. Okay, now we have to take out the rest of the Decepticons. Decepticons. Yeah, I got. Just love that sound. The Transformers noise. The wah, 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 wah. It's like you cannot have a Transformers game without that sound. Ooh, another audio log. Oh, if you could only have seen how we. Well, let's go on. 
How I manipulated the events as if the entire thing was pre-programmed. Everything is going to be bad. Until my ungrateful cohort, that slack pile, tried to come across me. The audacity of it. How dare he presume to betray me? Me! Just need a nanoclick here! Oh, how I cherish his expression as he desperately thought him from any corner. Not dead speak, though, as they dragged him away. It was positively poignant. My Not that it was ever in any doubt. The top beckons, and I am bound for it. Imminently. And he stands to come between me and See if that terminal's got any good info for us. Can you find anything on Cliff Chumper? He's alive. That's the good news. And oh, Cliff Jumper is who you're trying to find. You, got him in holding you don't want to know. Then let us see him to safety. Roger that. I'm the boss. I think Arthur's can handle that. Just with his hallway. I think Arthur's can handle that he's going to get killed. But anyway, Cliff Jumper, okay. Sorry, folks. Like for some reason, even though I know what's going on, sometimes my brain shuts off certain like names and stuff like that for some reason. It is worrisome, but we have no choice but to press on. Cliff Jumper and all of Cybertron depend on us. So we pretty much walk it into a trap. Affirmative. I like how Optimus never goes into like uh what. A certain type of speech patterns that other robots or other characters do like he stays as proper and co concise like as he always is because that's just what we need out of him we, can't, we don't need him wisecracking or or do or doing vernacular or anything like that you know because he's supposed to be a leader and he's supposed to be like you know i don't know if i'd say super serious but you know a beacon of leadership for his group and i don't know i like the fact that they never go that like cheap route with them usually when they write dialogue over. I think they slightly changed his dialogue when he when he was they younger in no the in certain in certain comics. Uh, like that tell us that tell the history of how he became a crime. But I mean that's because he was younger, so you know, but I don't know. But sometimes you just need those serious or at least proper Characters, and not everyone has to be wisecracking or make a joke or something like that. It's like Batman, you know. Batman's got to be serious. Batman can make a joke, but it has to be one of those jokes that just comes out of out of left field, and it's actually pretty funny. But he's never going to do it regularly. He only does it once in a while when it makes sense. You know, it's like Optimus. If he makes a joke, it's through primer properness, and you're not expecting it coming. Not expecting it to be funny. Just you know. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting I have a... Nice. Optimus Prime, what an unexpected honor. Decepticons, give our guests a warm welcome. Okay, I have nothing against the guy's voice in Megatron in this game. I just... I don't know. It just doesn't feel Megatron-y. You know what I mean? Am I wrong? Am I a hater? I'm not a hater, am I? Looks like we got an encounter with a boss? Oh, Leapers, huh? Is that a disease? Am I gonna catch it? I catch Leaper, alright. I thought there was another one around here somewhere. I was gonna grab the ammo as soon as I, I was able to shoot someone up. Where is this guy? Okay, well, I'm gonna. Maybe, maybe he disappeared. Or maybe I did kill him all or something. Like that. Okay, so. Let's swap to this while we wait for uh, Fly, Fly Boy to. Pump. Oh, I thought there were going to be more in here. Well, I guess we can continue forward. So he does. But it does not alter our course. We must still rescue Cliff Jumper and retrieve the Dark Spark before any more harm can be wrought. On that note, Cliff Jumper should be just ahead. Actually, Optimus Prime kind of reminds me of a lawful good character done right, you know, like a D and D. If we were using D and D terms, yeah. At least that's how I see Optimus Prime, anyway. All right, another loadout. Now eh, let's let's just max out our. Uh, 
Any upgrades I can add while we're here? Although I haven't opened a box in a while, so... I keep forgetting to do that off screen. Uh, I guess we could do that really quick. I usually just skip past them now. I'm, I just usually just press the button just to... Because I don't really care, you know. Really the whole idea of opening boxes and seeing what's inside of them really doesn't interest me. It doesn't... You know, the reason they do that is it's supposed to hit that part of your brain that... Oh, what is it? Uh, Skinner box? Where you sometimes get the reward you want, but you're not sure if you're always going to get a reward. Although in this case, we're always getting a reward. But, uh, and it hits, uh, what's that part of your brain that, like, wants a drip? Not a drill, and, uh, oh, I can't remember. Where, you know, every time you get something, you're like, ooh, and your brain's all pleased by it and stuff like that. But, I mean, I'd probably get affected, but, but, but I think maybe when these things first came out, I was affected by it. But now that I'm so aware of it in games, it doesn't, it doesn't excite me anymore. I'm more of like, can we get this over with type of thing. The only reason I did that was I was seeing if there were any upgrades available that came from... Oh, we got... Wow, we got a few from that. Or do we just get an upgrade in general and we can... Alright, uh... I'm just gonna do the... Top... One every time. Ooh, now we can do the final upgrade for this weapon. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to actually equip it. Uh, there's a path blaster I had one. Yeah, I'm just upgrading the first option every time. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna do that on, or mess with that. Okay, we're good to go. All right, let's see if we can save Clip Jumper and defeat Megatron and get off this planet. Get off this piece of piece of piece of rusted rusted out rust box head. Oh, I didn't know you had that type of dialogue. Huh. I'd ah. drop that beast casualties if I could. We know, Optimus, but we're, we're in a video game. You kind of have to have casualties because it's a game. You have to, or at least an action game. Sorry. Saying saying a game has always has action is kind of a disillusion. Incorrect. Not a correct saying because there's all different types of games, so not all of them are action games. Wait, what did you say? Now, how do you get up there to get that drop? That's what I want to know. Probably not. That's probably just a... Ah, there's we Cliff Jumper. strategy. The prison is heavily defended. I can hack the auto defenses with that security console. Should buy us some time. They might even let us take over that turret on the other side of the prison. That is, assuming we can make it over there. Good idea, Jazz. Hey, improvisation All right. is my specialty, Primo. <laughs> Automatic defense Don't call me Primo. Manual system is now online. Ooh, sexy lady, uh, sexy lady voice. I did <laughs> yeah. not expect that from the random, random uh, computer. That was complete the rescue of the Jumper without using the turret. So don't uh, try, I guess. Uh -oh. Ah! Holy crap! It just my shield just went boom, just down. I did not expect that. Yeesh! All right, I'll try it again. Hopefully this ain't like that one Decepticon level. Although that hasn't happened. That that the the super frustration of dying multiple times hasn't really happened in a while. So. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. World one. Actually, I think a blade comes out every time he melee's. I think. Ah! Wow! Ah! I've noticed the game sometimes auto aims if you if you like click into that. It just sometimes it follows someone. That might be a way for me to try to get better aiming opportunities. This is just um, kind of uh, kind of let it auto aim to the person and then just fire a lot. And just hopefully, ah, ah. I don't want to keep using up all my. Uh, um, I don't want to use up my heals yet until I'm absolutely certain I'm going to die in a second. I'll keep in mind that there's a heal over this way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not good. 
What? Don't what? understand I've got some words. What? Now, do we actually... I mean, the challenge is to not actually send turret. But don't we have to go there anyway, though? At least they don't have Optimus talking every other minute. Ah, oh, man, come on! Ugh. I call rust out on that. Ah, bah, 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 bah. yep, might be a good, uh, might be a good opportunity to uh, take a quick break, c uh, clear my head for a bit, and uh, and uh, focus on what's about to happen. So will Megatron, Megatron, will Optimus and Jazz be able to save Clip Jumper, just get the Dark Spark, and uh, and get off this plant? Well, like last episode, of course we do. This is in the past, right? So. Ah, you know, it's just a, cliff, a cliffhanger, you know, just, just, just go with that. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.